Jessica. Welcome back to the Retro Farmhouse. If you're new here and you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button plus the notification button and the like button. That way you know when I'm uploading a new video. Hope you guys are going to be having a fabulous weekend. I wish I could say the same, but we are gearing up for the tropical storm slash Hurricane Barry. So hopefully I'll be able to get some videos out to y'all next week. If I don't, then you know that we probably don't have power. So I will get that out to you as soon as possible. Today we're going to be working on a project for making some farmhouse uh, shutters. And we're going to be doing that with some supplies that I got from Home Depot or you can also get these at Lowe's. And they cost me just under $3 a piece if you don't have the um, popsicle sticks that we use as well, then it will probably be $4 a piece. Hope you guys enjoy this project. So I'm going to start out with using the large paint stir sticks. These come three in a package and then two of the smaller paint sticks. You're also going to need some popsicle sticks which I got from Dollar Tree. Here I'm just taking my short sticks and I'm measuring out nine inches um, where I'm going to cut them. The larger ones I'm going to measure those out to 18 inches. I cut these using my miter saw but you can get a cheap one of these from Walmart or Amazon. Next I'm using my home decor chalk paint in the color Java to put on the outside frame. I ended up applying one coat to the front and the sides. Next, I'm going to paint my smaller slats white from Apple Barrel. I ended up doing one thin coat because I was really going for that whitewashed look. If you want it even more transparent than this, you can mix this white paint with a little bit of water and just brush it on like a white stain. that I'm going to take my chalk paint from the Waverly brand in mineral and I'm using my little chip brush to apply this. One tip I will say is that you can really use any brush to do a um, dry brush technique but I really like this brush as they have like thicker bristles on them and when you're applying it I recommend light pressure as it creates a better brush stroke on the slat. I wanted to give my frame some distressed look as well, so I also took the brush and applied some mineral over this. To assemble my slats, I'm just using my hot glue gun to apply a small amount on the edge and then I'm going to overlap my second piece and press it down to make sure it's sealed well. I'm just going to repeat this process until I have a total of eight slats in a row.
Once I have everything glued together, I then turn this piece over and I'm just adding a bead of hot glue in between the cracks of the slats just to give it a little bit of extra support. Then I'm going to take my popsicle sticks with some generous amount of hot glue and place them here and there to add a little bit more security. To assemble this, I first do a dry run to see what the width needs to be for each of the bottom and top pieces. And now I'm just going to take my hot glue and put a generous amount on there and secure the bottom piece in. Now I'm going to use a combination of E6000 and hot glue to secure our slats. When placing them down, I make sure I match the bottom edge and then also overlap each of the sides. I'm now taking some hot glue and just adding an extra bead on each side for some more security. Lastly, I'm going to place some hot glue on my top edge and place it on the top. I'm applying a hanger using a piece that I got from an old dollar store picture frame. I'm just going to use some E6000 and hot glue to secure this as well. And here's how this project turned out. I decorated this with a little eucalyptus twine that I had secured with some wire. I absolutely love these. I think they turned out adorable and they would look great in any room of your house. And for under $7, I think that's a pretty great deal. Again, I'd like to thank all of my new subscribers and hope to see you guys again next time.